Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Well, practical based questions, class 10 CBSE chemistry. This is the second part of the video. In the last class, that is in part one of this video, we just have spoken about some basics related to this practical based questions and how to approach, how to solve and all of that, isn't it? And we also spoke about how to write your observation when the gases are evolved in this in the particular question and i explained it for hydrogen in the last class and today in part two we are going to talk about various other gases so please make sure you make a list of these all gases with the observations as well in case if it is hydrogen what we have to write according to the last class you have to write the observation as the colorless bubbles or the bubbles of a colorless gas have been evolved and when it is tested with a matchstick, pop sound is noticed, right? Now, second gas, second most common gas that falls into our syllabus is carbon dioxide. And when we talk about carbon dioxide, the evolution of carbon dioxide happens like a brisk effervescence. Like, you know, when you add eno, a packet of eno to a glass of water, the way too many bubbles are spontaneously evolved, that is what is called as brisk effervescence. And moreover, those bubbles in case of Eno are also formed due to liberation of CO2 only. But anyways, your observation for the reactions in which CO2 gases evolved should be evolution of a brisk effervescence or you can also write it as a formation of fizz. But brisk effervescence is the most standard word. Well, how do you identify that? Brisk effervescence is formed, that's fine. But is there any way that you identify carbon dioxide? In fact, there are two ways of identifying carbon dioxide of which the first one is you just introduce a burning matchstick to the mouth of container with carbon dioxide the fire gets extinguished but then no sound in case of hydrogen it was pop sound isn't it but in case of co2 no sound what is the second one the second one is the most iconic reaction of chemistry syllabus lime water experiment so when you pass this carbon dioxide through lime water lime water turns milky this happens because lime water chemically is CaOH twice after reacting with CO2 leads to formation of a white colored precipitate calcium carbonate along with water as byproduct. So these two tests are very important. They may also ask you the second one as an individual question. So please make sure you know these equations. Since anyways we are talking about this equation, there is an extension that you got to remember again. This is when you supply sufficient or limited quantity of carbon dioxide. But say you are having lime water, CaOH twice, and you are supplying excess of carbon dioxide. When you supply excess of CO2, in spite of formation of calcium carbonate, it leads to formation of calcium bicarbonate CaOH, I mean CaHCO3 twice, which is colorless. So when excess of carbon dioxide is passed through lime water, the observation is formation of a colorless solution. I hope you guys are making notes. Please make notes because that helps in your last minute revision. Well, these are the most common two gases that we deal with in our syllabus. But there are a few more as well whose observations could be asked. The next important gas is a set of SO2 and SO3. These are two gases formed during decomposition of sulfates there is one reaction also note down the example example question for this when lead sulfate or say when iron sulfate very simple one feso4 is being heated for some long what is the observation that you notice in fact iron sulfate is green vitriol it has pale green color when you warm it for some time it loses its color but when you strongly heat it it leads to formation of fe2o3 along with SO2 and SO3. So what are the observations in this reaction? As we are discussing, when you have to talk about observation, observe if there are any gases formed. If any gases formed, then you have got lucky, right? That means we are learning about all the gases now. So how do you write observation for SO2 and SO3? Both of these will be observed with the help of smell, only smell, because they are colorless. And if you are talking about evolution of bubbles, dear students, please remember evolution of bubbles, brisk effervescence is only possible when your reaction mixture is a liquid or aqueous in physical state. 
here this is solid this is also solid this is gas this is gas so there are there is no liquid we can't you know think about having the bubbles being evolved i hope you get it right it's pretty basic so how else do you observe because it's colorless the smell is next option you remember right in the last video i spoke about what could be the observations so the next option is smell what is the smell of SO2 and SO3 these have burning sulfur like smell okay do remember it carefully because usually students make a mistake over here writing the smell of SO2 SO3 to be rotten egg smell rotten egg smell wala gas is something else okay so don't confuse yourselves SO2 SO3 evolution is observed with the help of burning sulfur like smell done and this is the reaction which is asked usually in case of SO2 SO3 observation moving on to the next gas let me quickly summarize what we are doing we are talking about how to write observations if any gas is evolved as a product we spoke about H2 we spoke about CO2 we spoke about SO2 SO3 both of them together and now the next one we're going to talk about is NO2 NO2 is one of the colorful gas that we have when NO2 is released the color of the gas can be observed easily let the physical states of the reactants and products be anything it is released in form of a reddish brown vapor one and only reddish brown vapor i mean reddish brown colored gas that we have is NO2 okay so you don't need to go with any other observation you can directly write NO2 being released and one example question for this as well when lead nitrate PbNO3 taken twice is being strongly heated there are certain products which are released now write down the products and also state the observation now you should be able to finish this reaction yeah so it leads to formation of lead oxide along with NO2 as one of the major observation causing product so what is the observation of NO2 reddish brown it has reddish brown color correct so this is one more gas and the next gas that comes into our syllabus we are only talking about the gases that come into our syllabus okay not about everything so the next gas is h2s h2s is very rare to be asked but then this is a colorless gas but then it has a stinking god this is what has the rotten egg smell okay so when H2S is released as a product in any chemical reaction without any hesitation, write it off. The observation is rotten egg smell observed. Done. So these are a few gases which fall into our syllabus. H2, CO2, SO2, SO3, NO2 and H2S. So when these gases are evolved as product, I'm repeating, as product, that's when you have to write the listed observations in this video. But then there is one more thing I would love to add over here not only the above listed gases sometimes rarely chlorine also can be liberated chlorine is a greenish yellow color gas it is not there in your syllabus but then just in case there is a question asked out of the syllabus or something make a note of it and it's not hard to remember one line isn't it so this is about how to write the answers for observation based questions when the product formed is a gas at least one gaseous product is being formed so in the next video We'll talk about how to write observations for the reactions in which the displacements are happening, the single displacements and double displacements. So, if you're liking these videos, please make sure you like the video so that I understand that you like the videos and it motivates me to make more videos for you. Subscribe to the channel because next is the upcoming series for the ones who are moving from class 10 to class 11, the basics that you would have to learn. So after exams, without wasting your time, you can also learn the basics needed. So stay tuned. I'll see you in part three of uh, practical based questions very soon. Until then, keep working hard, write your exams well. Bye-bye everyone.